loves welcome back to make your monday it is our first video for 2023 can you believe it it's already 2023 what anyways we just thank god that we are here we are in a new year we have an opportunity to be here to exceed again to excel again to achieve again to win again and most of all to live again hallelujah uh, so if you're new here, welcome. We are the Make Your Monday family. My name is Mfaro Mumba, for those of you who don't know me. And if you're a regular degular, mm, you're a real OG Monday maker. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking again. I see our family is growing. Thank you so much for all those of you who are subscribing. So if you haven't subscribed, listen. This is the kind of family that you definitely want to be a part of. Hey, yeah. So, um, I know in our last video, I released just a slight recap of 2022, what I learned and how much it meant to me as a year. And, you know, just all, um, I think I also spoke about navigating family hurt and dealing with loss. Um, so yeah, please do, uh, engage with the comment section and let me know if, what I'm sharing with you is actually practical. Are you finding it useful? If you've managed to share it with someone else, please don't hesitate to give us feedback so that we know uh, and get a bit of direction if we're moving on the right path. Right, so in today, I want to speak about laying the foundation for 2023, getting our foundation right. I know. So if you notice, um, all our videos from the first video is that they're building blocks. We are trying to get to somewhere. Um, so funny thing, actually, while I was getting my face done um, by my sister, hence why I look so cute again. <laughs> but even without, I mean, you know, we rock it with or without. But as she was doing my face, um, something began to dawn on me. So those of you who are makeup artists know everything about skin prep. And like she was putting on a lot of primer, like a lot of the initial product that they put on your face. And it was as, as she was doing my face, she was explaining that she was changing her technique. And I noticed that she was using a lot more powder. And I began to realize that no, what would make the powder sit well on my face was because she had put enough moisture to begin with. The land was wet enough to begin with. And I realized that sometimes what is making our goals sort of crack halfway through the year, what is making the building not stand as well as it's supposed to is because we have not laid the right foundation. And you need to realize that we are all building different things. What we are building is not the same. Someone is building a single story building and that's okay. Someone is building a skyscraper. So it means your foundation actually, ha you have to go deeper. You really, really have to go deeper than the average person. So I realized that, oh wow, okay. All this work is going on in order for what wants to be packed on. Get your foundation right. We need to get our foundations right for what we are trying to pack on. If you've noticed, sometimes makeup starts to crack and you start to see, or a building itself, it starts to crack a few years later on. Why? Because the foundation was not strong enough. So it's not just about what you are trying to, the goal that you are trying to set. It now comes back to us. Does your, do your 2023 goals, right? If, you, if you're like me, <laughs> As I told you, I took some time to reflect and think about what I wanted to do. What you are doing in your 2023, right? It's like two different softwares. So maybe your, uh, your 2023 goals are an iOS 15 software. But you'll come to realize that maybe you are an actually, you yourself are iOS 11, you are iOS 12. Is the person who's setting the goals matching with the actual goals? Do you match your goals? You are speaking about um, saving, right? You want to improve your financial literacy. But does your software, does you, do you, the person, actually match up or align with the goal of saving a million or becoming a millionaire? It may just be that you are stating that, okay, I am, I am, uh, I want to be saving 10,000. And yet the information inside of you, the foundation inside of you 
does not yet align with someone who can save 10,000. So this year, before we upgrade our goals, let us upgrade ourselves. Can we upgrade ourselves? Guys, it's so good. It's so, so good that I'm actually like, oh my gosh, as I'm speaking, I am also speaking to myself. That's the biggest thing you need to know that what I'm sharing with you, I myself am also learning as we are going, or there are things that I've actually learned that, okay, it's great that you're setting this goal, but it's very likely that you're going to end up disappointed. Why? Because you are not matching the goal you're setting. So year after year, you keep talking about, okay, this year, I'm going to hit the gym. This year, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to be punctual. Okay? Those are great goals. They're really, really great goals. But are you elevating yourself to the level of your goal? Are you meeting the requirements of the goals that you are setting? Guys, it's so good. <laughs> it's actually so good that I'm actually realizing that, wow, okay, we really need to, it may not be that the issue is with the goals, but the problem is us, the one who is setting the goals. It's not just, if you know, if you've been in business, they speak about the SMART criteria, right? Which is when you set a goal, it's supposed to be specific, it's supposed to be measurable, it's supposed to be attainable, it's supposed to be realistic, and it's supposed to be time something. I think time specific as well. You can correct me, but I believe if my memory serves me well. And so the one thing about the goals is that they should be attainable. They should be attainable, right? So, so that by the end of the year, you're not depressed, you are not wallowing in sorrow, realizing that, uh, I'm not meeting my goals. Oh my gosh. But are we actually setting goals that are attainable? Are they realistic? Is what you're wanting to do actually realistic? And if you remember in my last video, I spoke about setting goals that allow you to live. Do your goals allow you to live? Is it things that actually make you excited when you think about it? And you think, okay, this year... Sorry, we ran out of space. But like I was saying that, are you setting goals that allow you to live? Like when you set your goal, is it something that you look at and you say, this, this is life. This is me. That's another thing. When you set your goals, they're yours. It's not so that when you set them... We can clap hands for you and say, wow, that's such a big goal. Like, yes, it's great to have big goals, but don't forget yourself as you're setting your goals because they're for you. They're not for us. <laughs> they're actually for you so that when you look back at the end of the year, you can say, wow, I really did what I wanted to do. I did things that matter to me. I set goals for things that are important to me. And so if you are still like me, um, I, haven't set, I haven't set my goals for the year yet. Reason being that this year, like I said in my previous video, I wanted to do things a bit differently and I wanted to set my goals having fasted, right? Um, the reason why I did that is I realized that sometimes when you are in the hype with everyone else of setting goals, it's easy for you to be influenced and set a goal that like, it sounds nice on paper, but it's not really you. And it's not something that counts or matters to you. So I said this time around, I want to set my goals with a very clear head, with a very clear mindset, without um, a lot of outside influence. But I actually want to set things that matter to me, goals that are important to me, goals that are actually mfaru. I don't know if you, if it's me. Sorry, I don't know why we keep running out of space. But anyways, as I was saying, don't forget to set goals that are you, goals that are authentic and true to you, goals that truly reflect what actually matters to you and the things you really, really want to achieve, things that are real milestones for you. But also that as you write your goals, don't forget to also write down the things you need to do to achieve those goals, um, you know. My spiritual mentor taught us that um, if you want honey, you have to keep bees. So in as much as you're writing down what you want to do, you also need to take into account what are the things that you need to do 
to get the job done in essence and so as we wrap up this is going to be quite a short video because we're having issues with space but i wanted to say um I, there's a book i would like to recommend to you um even if you set your goals and everything it's great don't you know don't change everything but i think it will help you have a clearer mindset and sorry and it's this book called uh disrupt yourself by jay summit this book honestly changed the way how i think and it's really good if you're an entrepreneur i really really recommend this book and he speaks i'll just give you a very short summary of the four things that i want us to talk about the first thing he says is that he says a human being has got four main areas that need disruption so he says it's important that you need to disrupt yourself right and so he speaks about you need to disrupt what are called your research and development links so in this you're looking at how does your environment affect you what are the things that have been, that you've been told that actually hinder you right and the second thing is you need to disrupt your design and production links how do you view challenges how are you coping with setbacks this is why i think in our post from monday we spoke about don't waste your experience don't allow everything you experienced in 2022 even if it was a terrible year and you just shove it and you pack it away no be bold enough to go through your year and bold enough to have that conversation with yourself that why did this thing go well okay if it didn't go well those are the things that like your experience helps you to spot your blind spots right so you can easily figure out that okay if something worked in 2022 analyze why did it work um, is there something similar that I want to do in 2023 that will help me get to that and then if it didn't work those are things for you to panel beat as you're setting your 2023 goals and implementing your strategy. Don't forget strategy, okay? As we're setting our goals, we shouldn't forget strategy because it's kind of like saying, okay, I want to I wanna travel. But then what are the steps needed towards traveling? You need to have an, uh, an Airbnb or a hotel. You need to decide how much do you need to save? What activities are you going to be doing? You need to book a flight. So those are your actual steps. I think we spoke about it like having a plan, like having an executable plan. What are the steps that are needed within your plan? Then the third thing he speaks about is disrupting your marketing and sales links. How do you market yourself? How do you speak about yourself? What words do you have? say about yourself how do you actually perceive yourself as a product or a service before you actually mark okay sorry loves so we have to change cameras again i don't know why we're having such an issue with space but like i was saying i was explaining to you the um, the four different areas that jay summit speaks about and then the last one he speaks about is how do you need to disrupt your distribution links and in this he says how are you spending your time are you spending time on things that are actually productive are you spending time on things that are actually useful to you are you spending time on things that are actually helping you get to your goal so eh, basically in a nutshell that is my 2023 video to you that as you set your goals do not forget be authentic in your goals. Set goals that are realistic, but set goals that are also real to you. Goals that allow you to live. Goals that allow you to be you. If you love to travel, note that down. If you love hiking, if you, you know, do things that actually really matter to you. So I think we're going to end here. I know it's a little bit of a short video, but, um, I just didn't want to ramble on too long, like in our last video. And yeah, I think that's it for me. Let me just check, double check in my head. That is that everything that I wanted to say to you. But otherwise, from me to you, may it be a blessed 2023. May it be your year where you experience everything that you've wanted to experience. May the doors that were closed for you, may they open in this season. May this be a year for you to remember. May it be a year where you can testify. May it be the year where you will say, indeed, in this year, I have received elevation. 
I have been accelerated. I have seen God open doors for me. I have seen myself become everything that he has called me to be. Otherwise, make your Monday family. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that our family grows. And don't forget to engage with me in the comment section. What would you like to see more of this year? What would you like me to speak about more of? And yeah. Otherwise, have an amazing 2023. I believe the best is yet to come. Our best is ahead of us. It is not behind us. And yeah, otherwise, I love you lots and take care.